I pulled the ring light out for this, so I tried to put some effort into this video. Is this zoomed in? Hold on. Wow. I was just setting up the angle. I was like, that's that's kind of close. I didn't even check to see if the camera was... Anyways, I'm kind of a hot mess today. How have you guys been? My life is pretty crazy right now, but that's okay. So as you can probably tell by the title, unless I decide to title it something else, which I don't think I would, we're going to be cleaning out all my clothes today. Now, why? You may be asking. For a while, I have not really been happy with the clothes that I wear because my actual style is very businesswoman-esque. I'll put some pictures here to show you guys what I'm talking about. That's my actual style. I also am just not happy with the clothes that I wear every day. I kind of just stick to like a sweatshirt and leggings, which is actually what I'm wearing right now. Shocker. So here's the thing. I actually went shopping today and I bought some new stuff and I'm kind of going in the direction of my actual style and I'm trying to work on that. That's one of these things that I want to work on this year. That and makeup because I don't know anything about makeup. I'm trying to broaden my knowledge on that area of my life. If you guys want to see daily vlogs or anything, I do that all on TikTok. I post three TikToks a day. If you're from TikTok, welcome to my YouTube. I haven't done a YouTube video in a hot minute, mostly because I am so busy and YouTube videos take forever. So because I want to work on my wardrobe, and stuff. I want to get rid of a lot of stuff that I just don't need anymore. Things that I'm not happy with. And I'm going to be completely and brutally honest with myself about whether or not I want to keep these things. We're starting off with the closet. Now, I don't have a whole bunch of clothes. I have a lot of clothes. But like, compared to some girls, I'm not even a- I, I, I don't even compete, okay? So here's what we're working with as of right now. And there's a- there's a whole other section on that side, but we're not going to talk about it right now. We're just- we're going to focus on this. Hang on, I gotta see if this will be a good thumbnail show. The problem with my clothes is I don't really have a hard time getting rid of stuff, but some of the stuff that I do have that takes up room is like stuff of my mom's. For those of you that don't know, my mother is no longer here. So it's kind of just like sentimental. Now obviously I need to keep some of that. <sighs> okay, this claw clip. Hold on. Let me go up higher on my head. Please. Hang on. I need to... I've officially given up on the claw clip because it's really just annoying me right now. Um, we're gonna do a low messy bun. I don't really care too much about what my hair looks like, but I also don't want to look like a complete and total rat's nest. That's what we're going with. I don't even care what it looks like. I don't know what it looks like. It is what it is. I just want it out of my face. Also, if I get annoyed at any point during this video, I started my period this morning and that's what we're gonna blame it on, okay? Okay. As I stated earlier, I went shopping and I was with Hayden. She was telling me about this girl on TikTok who actually goes through her clothes all the time and she tries them on and it's like, completely and brutally honest with herself about whether or not she's going to wear the clothes again or not. And I thought that that was a really good idea and I thought it would be a good idea for a YouTube video more in depth of what is in my closet, why am I unhappy with it. Let me just also explain that my body has been through a lot. I don't want to get like too deep into everything but just know that to make a long story short I don't necessarily have the greatest relationship with food and it got really bad at the beginning of last year. I tried to fix that by weightlifting, gained a bunch of weight and then I lost a bunch of weight really fast and now I'm kind of I'm I'm like I'm I'm pretty small again right we're not gonna get too much into that that might be a future thing but I just don't feel like I have <laughs> enough people that care enough to hear me rant about all that but because of that a lot of the clothes that I have are not flattering on me anymore or they formed to my body when it was like 25 pounds heavy, heavier than it is now because of that I either bought clothes that flattered me at the time and I look very different now or I bought the clothes and they formed to my body how it was at the time and now they just don't flatter me anymore which either way it's fine I'm gonna have three piles I'm gonna have a keep pile a donate pile and a pile where I take it to either like Play-Doh's Play -Doh's Closet or Uptown Cheapskate so that I can possibly get some money out of this because the stuff that I bought today was really expensive. Also just clothes in general are really expensive and I'm kind of trying to do a whole revamp of my closet. I will tell you one thing, there are immediate yeses, there are immediate noes, and all the stuff that I'm kind of in between with, that's what I'm going to try on. So it's not like I'm going to try on every single piece of clothing that I own. After the closet, we're going to go through the drawers. I also think that I might like condense the drawers a little bit and maybe use a couple of them for storage. We'll figure it out when we get there though. Let's just start off with the closet and see what we got. This blazer, it's a very nice blazer. It was my mother's blazer. I've worn it before. My problem with it is it's a little bit tight under the arms and right now I'm in the process of buying blazers that fit me and form to my body very well so I don't think I need this. I love you mom but I have some of your other blazers that I'm keeping. This one I'm gonna put in possible get money to from it. It is a very nice blazer I will tell you that. This blazer we're gonna have to try her on because I'm not too sure. This thing. My thing is I don't 
don't think that I'll ever wear this again. I used to wear it all the time whenever I worked at Michael Kors, but it is my mom's and it's a very iconic piece of clothing that she used to wear all the time. So I, it was, it was just, it's a staple. It was a staple in her closet and I cannot get rid of that. This shirt, we will have to try on. I wore it a lot last year, but I just don't know if it's my vibe anymore. Same thing with these two shirts and this one and this one. Jesus. Now this one I actually have to throw away because it has holes in it. Yeah, I'm not ever gonna wear it. It's my mom's, so it's very old. This. I bought this, I'm not even kidding you, probably like a month ago. And whenever I first tried it on, I liked it. And it was only like 30 bucks. I don't think I like it anymore and I don't think it's the vibe I'm going for. We're gonna try it on and we're gonna see. We're trying this on. This blazer, I'm keeping this, it was my mother's. This cardigan, trying it on. I'm just gonna get rid of this. I've worn this enough times. I. It does not flatter my body. It doesn't matter how big or small I am. You know those clothes that whenever you're trying to figure out what you wanna wear and you kind of pass by them and you're just like, eh, I'm not sure if I like the way that that feels on me. Yeah, that's what this is. That's exactly what this is. We're just gonna get rid of it. This. Simple black top. We're gonna try that on. Same thing with this, this, this. This is a no, I have never once worn this. It's too see-through. This was my mom's. I'm pretty sure it still looks cute on me, but we're gonna try it on. This is a Michael Kors sweatshirt that I got whenever I worked there. And you know, it's cute and all, but I'm not gonna lie to you, this is really weird. We're just, we're gonna put it in the pile. We're not even gonna try it on, because I know that I won't wear that. This, see-through. I can't, it's from Shein, so what do I expect? We're keeping this dress. I don't Okay, I'm keeping this t-shirt. I don't know why it wasn't on a hanger. It's clean. I wear random t-shirts to bed, so I do love my t-shirts. We're gonna bring you guys down a little bit. Now on to the bottom row. We're gonna just speed run through this. Pretty good progress. I mean, look at how many hangers there are. I had like maybe five that were empty. It's great. So this is how big the possibly get some money out of pile is. I already feel so much better. We're gonna set this over here. Don't worry, I will wash all these clothes before I get them away. This is the donate pile so far. It's great. Okay, I'm gonna close this for right now, and we're gonna use this as the background for trying on clothes. I'm gonna put on the first item of clothing, and I'll be right back. Okay, first top. This like athletic top. Here's the thing too. I was actually thinking of not doing this because I'm bloated right now because. <laughs> Sorry, my period this morning. But I was also like, if I like it on me while I'm bloated, then I really like it. You know what I mean? So, what do we think? I I feel like I need a mirror. I think it's cute. I think it's, we'll keep it for now. It's Athletica, so it's like a nice top. So, we'll go ahead and keep it. I didn't think that it would flatter me anymore. All right, next. I'm gonna say no to this. I bought this in the summer. It's just like a workout crop top type of thing. I'm gonna put you guys down a little bit so you can see. I think it makes me look like a box, so we're not gonna do that. Next. These leggings suck, by the way. These are gonna go in my get rid of pile. I just don't think I feel confident in this. I don't know. I don't know. It's Lululemon. It's a nice top. I don't think I like it very much anymore. It's also supposed to be like a top that you wear to the gym, but you cannot wear like a sports bra with this because unless it's like a D, we're just gonna get rid of it. I feel like this is gonna be a no before I even walk in front of the camera. Uh, yeah, no. I mean, it's not awful. Do I think I'll wear it? No. So we're just, no. This thing has been with me for so long. I kinda like it. I think we're gonna keep it. It doesn't show off my figure as much, but that's okay. I need something like this. Yeah, she's cute. We're gonna keep it. This is the top I bought for my 18th birthday and I honestly don't think I've worn it since and I don't think I'm gonna wear it again. What do we think? I hate my arms, dude. I've always hated my arms. Doesn't matter what size I was, my arms are always something that I've been insecure about. I'm a long sleeve type of person. I don't think I'm gonna wear it. The stitching on this is a little weird. I'm not gonna lie. Also, is it see-through or is that just, that's just how it looks on camera. The stitching right here on both sides is like really weird. It like pulls. So it's like kind of uncomfortable, but at the same time, I think it's cute. You know you know what? I'm actually gonna move this into the bathroom so that I can have a mirror and look at it that way because I feel like it looks so different on camera than it does in real life. This is better. This will work better because I'll be able to see it better. I don't like the lighting in here very much, but it is what it is. I think we're gonna keep this. This is another one of my mom. I think we can make it work. This one. The concept is cute, I will say. But wearing a bra with it, which I do in fact have to do, very weird. Like the straps are hanging like basically off my shoulders at this point. I think I'm gonna have to get rid of it. And I hate that because it doesn't even look that bad. My hair is gonna be so messed up. I like form-fitting clothing, especially 
black form-fitting clothing. And I think that this is cute, except for the fact that it says NASA on the neck. Why did I buy this? I don't think I've ever worn this. I think I bought it to like wear under vests and stuff. I kind of like it. I just don't like the NASA across the neck. I have another one like this. We'll decide between the two which one I hate more. So I'm so bloated. My stomach hurts so bad. Same concept, basically. I think I like this one better, but also I don't like how it's it's loose at the bottom. What if I... No. No. We're getting rid of both. I feel like I'm gonna hate this. Oh, yeah. I kinda- I hate my arms. My arms are all muscle. I just- I cannot stand that. No. We're getting rid of it. I did keep that shirt on because these next couple are like cardigans or pullovers. Now this one, it's not bad. I just don't like the way it makes my arms look. Again, with the arms. I don't- I- one of my biggest insecurities is my- if not my biggest insecurity. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't think we're gonna keep it. See, instead of cardigans, I wanna wear blazers. I think that's what we're gonna go for. We're, get, we're getting rid of it. Next one is a blazer. Hold on, I gotta fix the collar. This one's not bad. I feel like with the clothes that I get and the clothes that I will be getting, I think I could make it work with something because what I want to wear more now, like slacks and a blazer with a bodysuit. Bodysuits are what I'm going for. Long sleeve turtleneck bodysuits. I think that would look so good on me because I have this like skin tight long sleeve black shirt that I love. It shows off my figure. It looks really good. Really flattering on me. Not all the bodysuits that I'll buy will be turtlenecks, but also turtlenecks look good on me, especially tight turtlenecks. I feel like I can make this work. We're going to keep it for now. Okay, now this is the one I bought a month ago and I don't know how I feel about it. Mm. It's not bad. It's not horrible. Okay, it could be worse. It kind of makes me feel like I look like a grandpa. Next. I think I like this. I think we're gonna keep this one. I did change my bra, by the way. The one I was wearing is like really new and it's different from my other ones. I think that was also throwing me off. I don't hate my arms that much in this one. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the color, but I've never really hated my arms in this. This was my mom's, so I've had it for a long time. I look so pale in here. It's, this is a problem. <laughs> this one. I think I still like it. I think I still like it. I just love anything that's black, though, too. We gotta talk about my obsession with the color black. Insane. I feel like every woman goes through a stage like this because my mom definitely had an obsession with black. It's just such a good color. I think I still like it. I'm gonna keep this. I don't know how I feel about the color. I think it looks fine on me. I usually wear it under a blazer. I think the fit looks fine. I think it's a good, like, work shirt. I just don't know how I feel about the color. I think I'm gonna keep it. All right. Next basically the same thing but in white what okay when I bought this it did not look like this on me and I bought this like maybe six months ago this did not look like this on I swear to you like what does it look like it looks like I'm trying to put together a ghost costume I will be getting rid of this another black shirt I think this still looks pretty good on me you know what I will say that I wore this shirt a lot at the beginning of last year, especially whenever I went to work. The place that I was working, dress code was a black top with dark wash jeans. I used to wear this to work all the time, and so I knew what I looked like in it, and then I tried it on in the summer of last year. Oh my god, I could not stand the way I looked in it. Now I think it looks better. Now I think it flatters me again, so I think we're gonna keep it. All right, I'm keeping the same top on, but I'm putting on a blazer, and I don't think that it'll look the best with the- I mean, I could be wrong. I don't really- Really cute, actually. It's like a stretchy material, so it's not like a, a blazer blazer, it's more like a cardigan blazer. If that makes any sense, I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, I bought it for my birthday a couple years ago. I think it's still cute. I think I can make it work with something. Okay, so that is the closet. I'm gonna take a little break. Honestly, I got rid of so much stuff, and I think I was so picky because I'm having a bad body image day. I think we did really good. I feel much better, but I'm gonna take a break before we move on to the dresser because that was- I just tried on a lot of clothes. There is a big pile of clothes behind me, but we're gonna ignore that. The dresser, I've just decided I'm not gonna try anything on because I have a pretty decent idea of the things that I want to get rid of. For this portion of it, while I go through all of this, I'm gonna be talking about kind of what's been going on, what I've been doing. My life is insane right now, like actually insane. For my current job, I run the marketing department of an industrial automation company. I'm the only person in the marketing department. It's a lot of work. For the past several months, I have been doing nothing but improving my skills, getting certifications and stuff that I need to do my job better. I have been pushing and pushing myself to learn as much as I can, to do my job better in any way, shape, or form that I can, to learn from experts, and also starting my own business. Now, me being me, I do love creating content. It's always been a hobby of mine, and I'm so lucky that a big part of my job is me creating content because it's something that I also know how to do, and it's something that I believe I'm pretty good at. Through starting my business and growing it in every step of the process, I have decided to record the whole process, and at first I was just making videos for me, saving stuff for me, but then I was like, why would I do that when I could just create content around it? So I decided to start doing like little 
little vlogs on TikTok after explaining everything that had happened, everything that I do. I started off with explaining the career journey that I've been through, what I'm doing now, and then I started doing daily vlogs and get ready with me and a lot of people seem to like it. I'm not an influencer by any means. I don't have a bajillion followers. I'm working on it though and I'm gaining more every day. And because of that and because of everything that I've learned about content creation and stuff like that just based off of the skills that I have acquired to be able to do my job better, I decided to create my own content strategy and start using my platforms to gain awareness for me as a person and also to get people to trust me because once my business is up and running, which I hope that is happening within the next couple of months, once that all starts, one, I know that I'm going to want to look back at the process and see where I came from and two, I want people to trust me. Trust is a huge thing. After doing so much research and listening to so many different people, I have realized that recording the process of starting up a business and all of that makes people trust you more because they feel like they were a part of it. And in today's day and age, really the only person that you can trust is yourself. And I believe that wholeheartedly. And if you feel like you are a part of something, then you're more likely to be interested in it, invested in it. You would feel like you went through it with me in a way. Does that make sense? I'm gonna throw these over there because that they go to that pile. <laughs> <laughs> I've honestly been having a lot of fun with it. I've been having a lot of fun with it, but because I am creating content for not only me, but also my job, and I'm also doing a bajillion and one other things for my job, if you guys are curious what I do, I do a lot of talking about my personal experience in digital marketing and what I'm doing to improve my skills and stuff like that on my TikTok, and I pretty much update every single day. So go over there, follow me. I post three times a day on TikTok. My goal for my personal social media is to get three TikToks up a day, one to two YouTube videos a month. I would do more than that, but YouTube videos takes so much time and also it's not the platform that I'm focusing mainly on and it's the hardest algorithm to work with so I don't feel like putting all my efforts into YouTube videos are the best way to go so three TikToks a day one to two YouTube videos a month and then I want to get at least one Instagram post out a week I haven't gotten one out this week I plan to take pictures tomorrow also through that I was accepted into the Amazon influencer program so I started an Amazon storefront I don't want to become an Amazon influencer or anything I don't want to do any of that I think that Amazon is a great place to get a lot of my stuff from Amazon I love the idea of it because any passive income that I were to make off of social media, whether it's sponsorships or Amazon storefront, I would like to have that to support my business because obviously starting up a business is a lot of money. Luckily, I would say probably about 80% of the money that people spend on like starting up the whole business, I am able to do that myself and I learn how to do that all myself. So I save a lot of money that way, but there is still a lot of investment that goes into it. As far as the creator fund on TikTok goes, and I talked about this on TikTok, I do not want to join the creator fund. These are Haydens. When I get to the point where I'm able to join the creator fund, I in fact will not be joining because my goal is to gain awareness and trust from people on my brand and build a community when you join the creator fund on tiktok there's been so much speculation of people saying that tiktok stops pushing your videos because they don't want to pay their creator i honestly think that the awareness and stuff is worth more than a couple of dollars that i would make from my tiktok video so what is my goal with social media is it to become an influencer no. Is it to make passive income to help my business? That's part of it. The main thing though is to get people to trust me and my business and come along on the journey because I think it's fun. I love doing it. Now, creating content takes a long time. There's the creation part of it, the editing process, the even just coming up with ideas can take hours depending on the day. So with doing that for me and for the company I work for, and if you know anything about SEO, I am running the entire SEO strategy for the company I work for, and I'm building the website for my company and starting all of that up. I'm constantly going all the time. I love it to an extent, but sometimes I feel really burnt out. And when I say burnt out I don't mean for like days at a time I honestly feel burnt out for like a couple hours maybe a full day but like a, a couple hours at most and then I'm able to get back to what I was doing I work more than 40 hours a week for my regular job but my regular job the stuff that I'm learning for it is also stuff that I can apply to my business I spend my business's name is Loren Media it is a digital marketing agency and I have this huge vision for it. And it's gonna take a lot of time and a lot of effort, but I expect it to really skyrocket this year. I honestly expect a lot of things to come out of this year and that's why I work so damn hard. These are my socks. We need to go through these because I know that a lot of them have holes in them. Not only have I done research on how to do my job better, but I've also been doing research into the psychology of how my brain works, um, the different chemicals in your brain, how to work with them, how best to utilize them so that my focus and concentration is at its peak at all times so that I can retain information easily. That's how I'm able to excel so fast. I mean, I believe that I'm a pretty intelligent person as it is, but I have incorporated a lot of different habits into my life, especially my morning routine, that help me be where I need to be throughout the entire day. So I get a lot done in one day. Just to give you guys an idea, I started learning about SEO three months ago. Since learning about SEO, I have not only gotten certified in SEO, but I've also learned data analysis. I'm actually certified in Google Analytics. I got my Google Foundations of Digital Marketing certification. I am learning coding and website development right now website design. I already have skills in graphic design, but I'm learning a little bit more on how to design actual websites, and that's not only for Loren Media, but I'm looking into WordPress. I'm also looking into 
copywriting and creating content for websites because that is a completely different area of marketing. And do I think that I'm a master in any of those skills? Absolutely not. It's gonna take me years to master any of those. Even just those skills individually, a lot of people are not able to, like people spend years trying to learn those skills. To be completely upfront and honest with you guys, sometimes I don't feel like I'm moving far enough. I don't think I'm far enough. That's just how my brain works. Imposter syndrome is probably the worst mental health thing that I deal with. It's probably the thing that affects me the most. I've done a lot of work on my anxiety, which is the worst mental health issue that I've had. And also my mental health is something that I have put at the forefront of every single thing that I do because I have realized how much my mental health affects how I am every single day. I have struggled with mental health issues for a very long time and anybody who knows me would expect that of me, but I always put that kind of stuff on the back burner and didn't really pay attention to it. And now that I'm actually putting time into it, it has helped me immensely. Your mentality and your mindset literally controls everything that you do. How you behave, how you act, how you react, why you do certain things. I've learned a lot about myself, especially because I am very lonely. I don't really have, or okay, I don't want to say that I'm lonely. I am very alone. I don't really have a social life, mostly because all I do is work. I'm okay with that personally, now at least. It took me a long time to get there. With sitting with my emotions for so long and being forced into a situation where I pretty much was alone in all aspects of my life, it forced me to kind of either fix my mental health or continue down this awful awful path and I explained in the last video that I uploaded to YouTube that for a while there I didn't think that I was gonna make it out of that. Last year, it's crazy that it's 2023, but uh, last year I would say May through October was probably one of the hardest times of my life and I've been through a lot. I'm not gonna say the hardest, definitely not the hardest, but it's one of them. It was one of my rock bottoms, but I also think that I came out so much stronger. I'm a very different person than I was then. I look at life a lot differently. Now, is everything perfect? Absolutely not. I'm still growing every day. I'm still learning more about myself every day, but out of that came, I learned discipline, which is a huge thing in any area of life. I respect myself a lot more. I am still insecure, but I'm not nearly as insecure as I was. Basically what I'm trying to say is even though that was an extremely dark time in my life, I think that I made it out stronger than I ever have been, especially with anxiety. I don't react to situations the way that I used to. I don't feel like my entire world is falling apart all the time. I don't flip out. I, I don't want to say I'm a little bit more relaxed because that's not like the best way to put it. It, it's just I don't like anxiety doesn't control me anymore now are there b some bad days absolutely there are still bad days but it's I can't tell you how much better I am that's the drawers all done that was not all of my clothes I do still have some clothes in like the dryer that I need to put away and some clothes in the washer that I was working on earlier but honestly the clothes that I'm washing now are clothes that I wear every day so I don't see myself getting rid of them and I got rid of so much stuff like this pile behind me is the smaller pile of the two. And I feel so much better. I feel like now I'm finally growing into myself. I only continue to grow into myself. And I'm still learning every single day what works best for me. I'm happy, I'm doing good. I'm excited for what this year is gonna bring. Big things are coming and I know they are because I have the mindset that they are. And so they will. That's just, that's how it works. That's how life works. If you'd like to follow along on the journey of me starting up my business and doing all of this and just my everyday life activities, I would be more than happy to welcome you onto my TikTok because that's where I am the most active. But if you don't really care a lot about that too much and you only want to see my face a couple of times a month go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube or if you want to see all of it that would be wonderful I'm also gonna be more active on Instagram this year just basically any social media that I have except for Twitter and honestly who knows what's going on with Twitter right now if anything I just use Twitter for the news and I don't even I, I don't even really use it for that I mean that might change in the future but as of right now I have a Twitter account we just don't use it you can add me on snapchat I hardly I, I hate that app the only reason I still have it is because it's the main form of communication for literally everybody and also my memories. I love my memories. Cannot stand Snapchat. It is honestly one of the worst things that I think has ever happened to this world. TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, those are the three platforms that you can find me on. Those will also be the three platforms that you can find Loren Media on, but I have not posted anything on there yet. If you follow along with the journey, you will know the exact moment that I do upload something on there because I'm sure I will record it. All of those are just at Plum Loren, just like my YouTube. They will also be down in the description box below, as well as my Amazon storefront. If you'd like to go check out any of the products that I use. I also want to say any products that are on my Amazon storefront are products that I have used or do have. I do not want to sell or promote any products that I have no affiliation with. That is not who I am. Again, 
a huge part of this is me gaining trust from people. And if I start promoting products that I don't believe in or have no affiliation with, then I'm not gonna get anybody to trust. That's just stupid. Also, I just think it's stupid whenever people promote products that for the money. I love money just as much as the next person. I love money so much and I hope to make a bunch of it, but I wanna do it in the right way. Also, again, I would also really appreciate the support on the Amazon storefront because I will be using any of that money, any of the commission that I make from it to support my business. No pressure, but I would really appreciate it. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling now and I'm gonna go ahead and edit this video. I'm gonna try to get it up tomorrow if I can get it all edited in time, but I will see you guys later. Okay, bye.